dog right there. Um, hey, Grady, come here. Claudio, it's Benigi. Anyway, I'm back for another possibly disappointing tarot uh, uh, card interpretation slash reading. Um, so I'm going to shuffle my deck, my deck, and uh, we'll get to it. Um, I had a fairly good day. Um, always productive somehow. Um, somehow a little whimsical kind of like what is going on? We, we changed some stuff at work. And I say we, but I really mean the manager started doing something different <laughs> that I haven't seen and I haven't been able to keep up with yet. Um, now my, my, my curious wondering mind is wondering whether if we had the same devices, the newer devices that we had, uh, would we be having less of a problem with the new implementation of what they have done? We have done. We're a group. We're a collective. Um, you know, if we don't get it done, um, they don't get it done. Customers don't see results. Um, anyway, I'm just... I feel so inadequate. There goes an Amazon truck. That's funny. Um, so, uh, ha. I got two cards. Three? Oops. Three? Oh, no. Three cards? Should I read all three? I mean, I've heard that you're supposed to read them if they fall out, but this deck is slippery and I'm not sure that it wouldn't uh, fall out on its own. Um, so actually two of them, the Nine of Cups says hi. Uh, remember we talked about him having uh, a platform out of reach, but wasn't actually out of reach and his clothes were like white and gray and anyway, I can't remember what else, but we also have the Four of Wands, which was like one of yesterday's, um, Four of Wands, uh, kind of merriment, um, joy, um, that kind of thing. The other one, I always thought this was like the darkest card, the most ridiculous card. <clears throat> so it looks like there's storm clouds up top and there's three swords and three, um, in some numerological kind of cultural specific to China, three is kind of like, means like rich. Um, but in this sense, it's like three swords stabbing a heart, which is overkill. Like you, you puncture your heart and you're like dead instantly because, um, that just, that's how the blood flows like from the heart. I think that's why... Our ribs are cages <laughs> because, um, yeah, it's not it like medically you, you would die with the first puncture. So this is the most overkill, dark, ridiculously they outdid themselves. Maybe not pictorially in the art sense, but um, that that is definitely an ending to me. Um, I don't know, people talk about it being heartache from like different angles, but no, that's, that's an ending to me. Um, I feel like it's raining and that's the end. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm going to check out what, uh, my roommate's, uh, Delio has to say about it. Um what her little booklet on the... I also kind of like now want to like search the internet and see if anyone else thinks it. this is a sign for an ending, you know? Because to me, it's very, very much over. Um, the Here's another um, kind of interesting thing. If the heart muscle gets damaged, I think there's 
um, there's at least one, if not two, types of cells in the body that cannot repair themselves. And one of them is the heart. And they say it can heal, but it can't repair itself to be useful as a heart muscle anymore. And another thing is interesting. the um, To me, any, the, any muscle, any cell in the heart can is capable of causing the pump um electrical uh type pump um my mom studied nursing and I tried to and I failed cuz I'm a loser um it's over for me uh let's see no I really wanted to help people but I didn't I couldn't get past like the Okay, these are people, you gotta treat them, not feel sorry for them type thing. I didn't get very far in nursing. Uh, nurses eat their young, that means they're mean to the young ones. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't handle that. I could not handle that. Um, three swords, piercing heart, cloud, and rain behind. That is exactly how I described it. Just the opposite. There's clouds and rain, there's three. Alright. It means... Removal, absence, delay, division, rupture, dispersion, and all of the designs, and all that the design signifies naturally. So, I can see where it might naturally signify like either betrayal or heartache or, um, it's beyond rupture. It's death. I think this 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 card is scarier to me than the devil or the death card or the tower. Like, this card scares me. Um, reversed, it means mental alienation. It's still, 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 uh, still kind of negative, but, um, mental alienation, error, loss, distraction, disorder, and confusion. Um, let's distract you with a refresher of the Four of Wands. Boink. Okay. The Four of Wands. Coming up on it. Okay. Um. Was this one of the ones that I didn't know the words to? Not really. Um. Country life, repose, concord, harmony, prosperity, peace, and the perfected work of these. So being at peace, um, I want to go back to that and talk about being at peace with like the countryside where you live. If you don't live in the countryside, find a way to be peaceful with the city. Um, cities are tough. Um, countries, countries are no walk in the park, but cities are tough. Um, reverse meaning remains unaltered. Increase felicity, beauty, and embellishment. Okay, then I distract thee. With the nine of cups. Uh, concord, contentment, physical, be entry, also victory, success, advantage, satisfaction for the querent or person for whom the consultation is made. Reverse truth, loyalty, liberty. But the readings vary and include mistakes, imperfections, etc. So when when you're when you're reading tarot, either or listening to tarot, um, know that it's not going to be perfect. Um, for me, it's more of like story indications, and I'm trying to learn them. Um, but it's like there are certain motifs like death and marriage and um, love and loss, heartache and triumph, certain certain repeatable motifs. And I think that's why the tarot works because um, these are human things. These are human um, qualities, okay? They're not... Um, they're not, they're not like off the wall things like, um, what comes to mind is leaving someone when they're 
family member passes. Um, these these are things that are like normal everyday things that humans go through. Um, they're not specific to like uh, playing, you know, uh, like coloring coloring a bat um, with paintball like you're trying to hit strike hit um a paintball out of the park these aren't like strange specific things like there's a gnome in my front yard um these are things that humans go through um experience and stuff and um i've had some life events that the tarot has tapped on that are um kind of like uh i don't know if i would do that again i don't know if um, I don't know, I, I mean, I've felt alone before, and part of, um, feeling connected is, uh, being able to notice the, the human things, the, the things that we share. Someone might experience grief different than someone else experiences shame, so, or anger, um, for an example... I hate to tell this story, but for an example, but I feel like I should because uh, it it's more specific than I can get. Um, I've been one to leave someone when their family passed, and I've been one who actually had to comfort a family member, sorta, try to who uh, who's um, someone left when their fam our family member died. It's like really freaking weird, but I didn't feel any compassion for him. I felt anger at him and myself. But the story I wanted to tell real quick was just that this lady had called into a radio show and was saying, um, I'm really upset. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. My friend's getting married and she didn't invite my mom to her wedding. To me, that's that's nuts and I don't know <laughs> I think if that's the worst thing that's happened to you I I pray you that you are like um like you know the the motif of the um uh see no evil hear no evil speak no evil well I hope that she's like she's like one of the lucky ones that doesn't have to see hear or speak e either um evil or whatever it's just it's sad it's it's different. She was she was upset and like I'm upset um, right now. My voice is stupid, but um, you guys have a good day and uh, hope you learn from something. But to me, this is like the end game, the end of the game, game over. Um, it doesn't read that in the um, in the interpretation that I have, but it is very much to me um, kind of like that's that's it. Three of Swords, whatever whatever you had going, um, whether you enjoyed it or not, it's over. Um, anyway, it's just, it, it reminds me of so much heartache. Um, not necessarily a good thing, but um, anyway, uh, you guys, like I said, enjoy your day.